Based off the title of this episode, I'm guessing we're going to be learning more about Haruhime this episode. It's called Rain Renard, Renard, <laughs> however you pronounce that, slash Fox Person. What's up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius back at it again with Don Machi, Season 2, Episode 7. Last episode, don't even get me started on the Ishtar Familia slash the Pleasure Corner, the City of Lust. Um, a lot of you on Patreon and a lot of people just in the comments general have been telling me that Orario is like New York City, where they have distinct boroughs and distinct like areas and districts and how it's massive and has an immense amount of people, which makes sense, you know, with these areas that Bell's never even been to before and it being the city in which he grew up in, stuff like that. But super excited to hop into this and find out more about Haruhime. With that being said, if you guys want early access and full length to this show, all the other shows I'm watching, make sure to check out that Patreon down below. Always is available to you guys. If you guys want to support me and Patreon's not really your thing, if you guys could just leave a like and a nice comment down below, it genuinely does help me with the YouTube algorithm. Don't forget to follow me on all my social medias, Twitch, Instagram, and Twitter at Dapper Darius. And if you guys happen to be new here, don't forget to subscribe, join the Dapper squad, click that notifications bell so you guys always know exactly when I post. Thank you so much. Let's hop into this. Don Machi, Season 2, Episode 7. They really didn't. They were just following Makoto. With what? Oh, alright. Community service. They're playing hero and adventure. Really similar to the stories that they were talking about last episode and how she feels like she's undeserving of a hero because she's a prostitute. So far in the series, this is the only girl Bell hasn't been able to save so far, and it's really it's really wearing down on him, you know? Oh, look at them. That's a squad right there. Just talking with a nice lady. Actually, the lady you guys are looking for, funny enough. Yeah, I was gonna say, let's actually have a conversation about what happened last night, Makoto. You might be curious to hear about that. What are the odds? I happen to be with a Renard. Hate to see it, but it is what it is. <laughs> Lily already knows Bill. Especially with the Ishtar Familia. Hermes feels bad about giving up that info to Ishtar. I'm gonna warn. Yeah, Seer is definitely curious. She sucked the literal soul out of me. <laughs> Makes sense why he'd go to Aina. She was the one who originally told him about them. High ranking both in terms of their financial and their dungeon accomplishments. At least level 3, I'm guessing... Briny is level 5, wow. I'm guessing Aisha, Lena, all the rest are level 3. So that is her area. She is the goddess of that area. Yeah. Especially with her fucking with Freya. You have to have balls, no pun intended. You have to have boobs. <laughs> I'm not going to finish that. You'll be the first one to do it. Which a lot of you told me adopted grandson makes a lot of sense. I was wondering Zeus's wiener, you know, all about that, but. Which we know Aisha knows Haruhime took Bell out, but they've always been close. You know, they've always been respectful of each other. That she was having a dream that will never come true. Yeah, 
ありがとうございますこんなことで礼なんか言うんじゃないよ春姫殿 I'm guessing that's Mikoto. Obviously, she does, but has to play this this role. You really hate to see it. That's because Aisha's right there. You know, she's a part of this familia. Really? So she got curious, obviously. Only natural. That's fun. <laughs> That's hilarious. Something she did displeased her father. That's not the story that she told Belle. The good friend Makoto is. And Belle obviously is only going to want to help out as well. We'll just have to circumvent the rules, yeah. Mm. He's so nervous for Bell. I would be too knowing if Shar was after. <laughs> He's just checking up on him. Are you okay? You seen any big titty Amazonist women around here? Just, just wondering. I happen to be looking for one. Especially after the war game, that gives us great context as to why we. Should not do that. A war is... Especially in a star. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. That means something important. Yeah, anything I just told you guys is now x Sounds like a dangerous item. Well, even if it's just that, I appreciate that, Hermes. Thank you. Uh-oh, is Hermes setting something into motion? He always is doing some, some sneakery. All the gods are doing some sneakery in this show. Oh no. Oh no. I was about to say, you're looking at Phryne. That's disgusting, bro. That you can do. S I don't even want to know what Phryne tasting someone would be like if it's going to do that to you. Okay. We're starting a war with Freya. Aisha, I feel like, is not going to be a fan of this. She seems conflicted. Good kills, good kills. Be 
She does not care right now. She has a hope. Hope will make you blind. Well, I know it requires a ritual. What do you know, Hestia? Damn it. That's what it seems like. Oh. Yeah, if you can't kidnap him... Yeah, I was about to say, if you can't kidnap him in public, you're definitely going to the dungeon. And Haruhime's here, too? Do it? Is that even her? I can't... What is going on? What is this? Use some fire bolts. Oh, I should got him so quick. Hate my fickle goddess. Yeah. Well, the average Amazon fighter is level 3, but they might even be capping about that. They might be like 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And she has some power up from Haruhime or whatever that was. And a big ass sword. Oh. Oh, I am upset how I got blue balled at the end there, but. I feel like that episode went by so fast. I'm trying to think what happened. We had a couple of conversations. We were told about some stuff and we were told to go kidnap little rookie and then boom, it's over. Like, damn. But in terms of the information we got, Ishtar plans on starting a war with Freya and this is the ultimate uh, incentive to do it. She says she can provoke. That's the word I'm looking for. Can provoke Freya with Belle, which... Uh, she was wondering why Freya hasn't made her move yet. I think Freya is like Hisoka and is the only other one who could tell Bell. Well, I mean, everyone can tell Bell is increasing his XP at an exponential rate, but I think Freya is the only one that can attribute it to something. I don't know if she knows about the realist rephrase, like his ability per se, but I think it's almost, and I don't know if it's been confirmed before and I just missed it, but I think it was pretty much confirmed this episode. Because I was always wondering, I always assumed it was Freya who gave a super expensive grimoire to Bell to make him learn Firebolt. Um, but because it was found at the restaurant where Bell frequents, I always assumed it was Freya, but I, I just never knew for certain. But Hermes going to see Mama Mia asking to relay some information back to Freya confirms it right like she has to at least have connections there know people there obviously mama mia is a savage um who might be an ex-adventurer because she picked up ryu who was an ex-adventurer with a shaky past and did not even give a fuck about that i don't know mama mia is a cool girl i'm just curious about that i actually did not write anything down Phryne still scares the living hell out of me so does ishtar <laughs> um but I'm definitely curious about this killing stone and the ritual. I think Hermes is one of the ones who I'm so curious about because Hermes is the person. Hermes is the little finger. If you guys know Game of Thrones, he's the person who knows everything, but only gives you certain bits to, to progress whatever his agenda is and or the next step in the show, you know, like he knows so much. And he, at this point, in my opinion, I don't mean from what we know is the only one who knows Zeus is uh, Bell's grandfather. He knows some a lot about Uranus because he was like, Uranus didn't predict this. A lot of shit he knows about uh, Freya and Bell, which uh, remind me, confirm to me, um, correct me if I'm wrong, was the first time we knew Hermes knew Freya was about him. We, we know he knows everything, but we were confirmed that he knew about that last episode when Ishtar kno knows about it now. So um, that's just crazy. I'm, I think he's the one I'm so curious. I think he's number one I'm curious about. Then it comes Freya. Then it comes everyone else. I don't really care. It's just them two. I'm, I don't want to see Otaro fight. Fucking, oh my God. I'm just saying, the show is amazing. Um, I'm going to hop in this next episode. Don't forget, if you guys don't want to wait, if you guys want early access, full length, all that jazz, make sure to check out the Patreon down below. Make sure to follow me on all my social medias, and don't forget to subscribe. If you guys are new, make sure to click that bell so you guys always know when I post. Thank you, Dapper Squad. I'll see you guys later. Peace out.